Central Islands Wanderer. Central Islands Explorer. Overleveled. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Completionist. Yep, this feels like the end. Above and beyond. Mob of monsters. And we get all the achievements. Never run from a battle. Yeah, because I couldn't. I have terrible agility. Fight like a man. No coward. Not afraid of a battle. Lead feet. Yeah, pretty much. Knight. That's cool. Thief. Oh, well, we beat the uh, beat the game with, I suppose. White mage. All right. Black mage. This is not how it was supposed to end. I've lived for nearly one thousand years and seen many more in the endless cycles created by the well's portals. To be halted at the final step after coming so far is truly cruel. You can't understand the singular importance of my mission, the path to immortality. Everyone dreams of it, and I almost achieved it. I've sacrificed so much, and it all seems so meaningless. Yeah, because I beat you down, sucker. I'm just stronger than you. <laughs> there was no sacrifice in what you did, Gabriel. I've seen visions of your life, and it's been nothing more than a madman's holocaust. I only lament that your death did not come soon enough for many of the innocent terrors you murdered. Yes! I would have gone more the whole, you know... Just complete slice right down the middle, but okay. Stab in the heart. No! As Gabriel's soul leaves his body, the evil taint is also removed. I'm so sorry. F forgive me. <laughs> I spent the great portion of my existence feverishly pursuing immortality. And yet, like all others, here I lie, losing my breathing grasp on terror. There must be some inherent suffering in immortality. Yet, isn't there inescapable suffering in living? <laughs> I assure you, I'm as lucid as ever, aware of my atrocities, and most ruefully, aware of the absence of a meaningful result. What lesson is this? I've been living. Alexandria Library, which you now burn to the ground. I do not blame you for this, but from my embers, know this. Existence and death are insurmountably cruel in their mystery. Gabriel's soul is being absorbed by the well of souls, and a portal to Earth is opening. This may be the only opportunity to get home. Moments later, outside the Well of Souls. Portal's opening. This could be my only chance to get home. Jump! Back at Dante's house in Oakwood. Father, you're home! It was a long trip. Can't wait to put up my feet. Why don't you warm yourself by the fire? Wonderful idea. Please join me. 
Stoller Syndrome? I'm not sure, but I have a good feeling. I think maybe he made his way home. Ah, the fire feels great. I thought my bones would be frozen solid after the freezing conditions on the ship back from Midgard. Why were you in the Midgard in the first place? Went to ask the King of Midgard for his help against the Pandorans. But you left before they even invaded Oakwood. How did you know? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. It seemed to be worth the effort, though. The townspeople were thrilled to have the Pandorian troops pushed out of Oakwood. Indeed! Are you going to watch the parade later today? Of course, but I'll have to leave soon afterwards. Later that day, during the parade, looks like everyone's enjoying themselves. More fireworks! Yes! Yay, fireworks! Where'd you find all these wonderful fireworks, Dante? A gift from the King of Midgard. They're wonderful! Good riddance to the Pandorians! Let's do another victory lap around Oakwood! Great idea, lad. And the Miner's Cave. I have a really good feeling about this. You always have a good feeling. Perpetual optimist. Let's just wait and see. Better than a pessimist like you. Let's go. Moments later. You didn't forget the bombs again, did you? Of course not. Fully prepared this time. Set the explosive bombs. Alright, take cover. Let's see what's inside. In the newly opened chamber. <laughs> Big brother, I think we hit the mother load. Yeah, we're set for life. This is going to take forever to cart out of here. What are you going to do with your share? I'm going to refurbish the ancient ruins. Turn it into my own private castle. You hear something? No. What does it sound like? It sounds like something is on the other side of that wall. The hell are you fellas? Gold Hunter. Huh. We might ask you the same thing. Wait, I think I know him. Don't you live in the oasis just to the north of the desert mountains? That's right. Seems we got ourselves a bit of a quandary here. I don't think so. We were here first. Therefore, this is our claim. <laughs> we'll see about that. At the lakefront in Dry Gulch. Looks like we're gonna visit every place. Damn. No one needs to buy my merchandise since those bastards killed the pirate who was bullying the townspeople. <laughs> you say you're going to explore the southern continent? Can I tag along? Of course. I'd love to have some female company. I don't have to worry anymore about the townspeople since the pirate was killed. Oh, glad I did that. Tourism has really picked up since the pirate was crushed by those travelers. The new expansion to the inn is nearly finished. We'll be able to house nearly three times as many tourists. That's wonderful. Town is really starting to grow without the threat of violence hovering over us like a dark cloud. Indeed, I'll finally have time to start on my project to bridge the river south of the lake. If I charge just one gold per passage, I'll be the richest man in the continent. And therefore, the toll booth was established. <laughs> At the Hunter's Guild. Yeah, I never did those optional hunts. Things are too quiet, Sid. What the hell do you think is going on out there? But I mean, other than them, we crushed every other uh, hunt. Wish I knew. Central's been busy. No kidding. Stories of his battles against Dracula and Loki are sweeping the globe, becoming a worldwide legend. Certainly one of the finest hunters I've ever seen. Never thought I'd say this. He may actually rival the great Ajax. High praise. He's definitely needed. Our guild correspondents usually send reports like clockwork. 
Whatever's holding them up must be tremendously dangerous. I bet that chains if we beat them. Yeah, I'm very concerned. Ari contacted Cecil, and he's assembling every man he commands at the arena in case Central fails. Yeah, sorry about that, that I didn't get to those. In a small cave southeast of Alpine. It's getting chilly outside. Fire really warms my bones. It's snowing hard outside. Never experienced nature like this when I was living in Doria. As the great philosopher Meliconis wrote, there is no greater satisfaction to be had than in living successfully on one's own terms. Fisherman's Hovel. Can I get you anything, honey? How about a glass of milk? Can't leave the dock right now. Fishing has been amazing for the last several days. Of course, it'll only be a moment. Might be a record haul. Won't have to fish for several months after this. Till I know it. And since the Pandorans have been driven back to the northern continent, there isn't a threat that our trade route to Doria will be interrupted. Heard that Atticus and his Spartans were key in pushing back the Pandorans. Not just... not just Atticus. Heard that Syndra was also responsible for killing General Thanatos. I didn't realize I was in the presence of greatness when he visited so many months ago. In the Relic Collector's house. Two ancient elven relics have taught me so much about the elven civilization. Thank goodness for Sendril and his companions. I can die a happy man now. In the mysterious cave between the central and eastern continents. So few travelers have ever come to test their strength. I had no idea how true the words of the previous keeper were. It's an extremely lonely existence protecting these sealed gates. I should have shared the true existence of the previous keeper with Sindral when he completed the ninth gate. Terra deserves to know how Aurelius truly died. Wonder how far the line of keepers goes back. Who protected this place prior to Aurelius? I miss so much of human events. Was Syndra able to finally find Adamantium and fulfill my father's wish? Yes, actually. On a small farm in the southern east corner of the eastern continent. Dinner's ready, my love. Wonderful, I'm starving. Wonderful that life is once again so peaceful. Things were a bit tense with that Pandoran conquest and the strange creature that was dwelling in our well. Surprisingly, it seems that fellow Central had a hand in both. We owe him a great debt of thanks that we'll never be able to repay. South of the ruins of Rubicon in Mr. Cope's Ten. I'll always remember the souls that were lost when Mount Gera erupted, but we must rebuild Rubicon. I'll rebuild it. I'll rebuild my wonderful seafront home, and it'll be twice as big. I had faith that Syndra would defuse the bomb. There couldn't have been anything he could have done based on his record since that day. I hope he was successful in his quest. In the alchemy wing of Asgard Castle, oh, little thing about the bomb that I learned. You have to have an engineer to defuse it. If you don't, nobody can. Rubicon's wiped out. So that's interesting. I think that's the developers just playing around with the idea that you need certain classes to do certain things for their next game. That's just a guess. Maybe it's something they wanted to try out and then do more in the future. We'll, we'll have to see. Life can finally get back to normal. Pandorans have been pushed out of Asgard thanks to the efforts of the Spartans, Dorians, and Midgardians. I can finally return to my research. I know I'm on the verge of a major breakthrough. We, ha we may be seeing a major boom in technological advancements such as hasn't been seen in over a thousand years. 
could reverse engineer the amazing technology of the airship, repro reproduce it a thousand fold. Perhaps one day every person could have one. There have been uh, reported sightings of a bizarre device that can delve beneath the waves. <laughs> These are truly exciting times. In the throne room of Asgard Castle. You three individuals epitomize the spirit of Asgard. Your dedication to the crown led to my eventual escape and rescue. Oh yeah, the uh, rebel leaders. Thank you, your majesty. Unfortunately, the mysterious warrior, Sindral, could not be here to share in our celebration. Yes, but luckily I had a chance to thank him and his companions when they escorted me safely to Doria. Very good, your majesty. Cassius, please come forward and accept the Golden Cross as a sign of the Kingdom of Asgard's deep appreciation for your abiding loyalty. It was our duty as Asgardians. Thank you, your majesty. The only reward we need is, to s is your safe return to the throne, your majesty. It's an honor to meet you, your majesty. In the town of Bora. What a light winter it's been. Should be a beautiful summer. I suppose it hasn't been as bad as it could have been. The threat of Pandorian rule has dissipated. Legend of Syndra will live forever as the savior of Terra. His name will be remembered along with Atticus, Dante, and the others who stood against the tyranny of Pandora. We don't have to worry any longer. Peace is returned to the land. Good riddance to Octavius, Hannibal, and Thanatos. High in the mountains of the northern tundra at Daedalus' workshop. My diabolical labyrinth is complete. The sole drawback of living in these mountains is the lack of travelers. Yeah, I was not going to go through that. Will no one ever visit my shop and attempt my puzzle? Eh, maybe some other time. No one will ever solve my puzzle. Those who scoff at my invention will lament their disbelief and my unequal genius will be confirmed. In the vast cavern system underneath Talos Village. Home sweet home. Yay, the fairy got her uh, home back. Remember? It's unfortunate that townspeople couldn't have been of more assistance. Still can't thank Sindra and his companions enough for driving those monsters from my underground home. In the dwarf village? Nearly forgot how nice it is to have new faces around here. Get so tired of looking at your ugly mugs all the time. Feelings mutual. You're right though, humans aren't bad company. Before Mandrew and Sindra, we lived very insulated lives. Perhaps we should visit Talos Village. Many humans live in that village. I don't know. Humans are strange beings. They're often irrational, violent. Shouldn't make this decision hastily. Dwarf Elder, I mean no disrespect, but I must dispute those claims. They may be the views of the Elder Majority, but I can find no evidence that humans should not be trusted. I think we should set out for Talos Village immediately, meet the humans who live there. In a bustling pub in Anlick? Bartender! Another round of drinks to celebrate the downfall of Pandora. Just one more. I'll have three. I'll have some mutton and mashed potatoes. Atticus may have finally overshadowed his father. His military genius led to the victory of the Dorian Midgard Military Alliance. Heard Sindra was also involved in the death of General Thanatos. Good riddance to that madman. Who do, you th who do you think will take over the kingdom of Pandora now that both General Hannibal and Thanatos are dead? Bartender, another round. 
You know the dangerous monsters that popped up a few months ago are starting to disappear? Soon it'll be safe enough to travel to Crescent Canyon. I've started on my history of the last few years. It'll be the most red tomb in centuries. Hmm. This hot cocoa is delicious. Finally feel safe enough to wander the village. Perhaps I'll venture outside Anlock in the coming weeks. <laughs> That's wonderful. Would you like to visit the frozen cave with me? The floes are covered with ice. It's wonderful fun. So apparently the Well of Souls does exist. This changes our whole understanding of religion and philosophy. In small igloo on the northern coast of the southern continent. Finally done it. I've slain a mythic snow slug. They're so rare that they are only seen for a single week during the entire year and only between the between the twin lakes on this continent. There are traders on the black market who will pay handsomely for the snow slug slime. I can finally head back to Asgard and build the theater that my brother and I have always dreamed of building. I look forward to warmer climates. In the oasis southeast of Crescent Canyon. Welcome to my humble item shop. Welcome, welcome. Well, since the barrier around Crescent Canyon has been broken, it's become an amazing tourist attraction. It all started when that odd fellow Sindral stopped here. Wish I could shake his hand and thank him properly for the boom in business. Oh well, best return to my shop so that I can entertain my guest. In the river town of Gaia, or Gaia. I never really feared Pandora knowing that Midgard is just to the north. His mighty warriors would never bend to the will of a madman like General Thanatos. <laughs> You're a damn fool. Pandoran conquered Asgard without blinking an eye. We could all be under Pandorian rule right now. We owe our freedom to men like Atticus, Sindral. Atticus commanded our brave soldiers while Sindral de decapitated? Uh, oh, uh, sorry, I kind of skipped a sentence there. Sindral decapitated the Pandorian Empire by disposing of General Thanatos. I don't really believe the rumor, so. Well, of souls? Please. It's an amazing enough story without adding idiotic embellishments like that. Certainly makes for a compelling story. It's one I'll be telling my children when they get older. On another subject, the monsters are scattering around town. I think it may be time to revive the lab laboratory to the south. <laughs> that ramshackled bunch of bricks? Who could you possibly see in that place? has been deserted for decades. Can't you see the good in anything? Don't be so hasty to rush judgment. What do you have in mind? To revise it for its original purpose. The creation of the submissive submersible device. Already did that. Very good. I'm up for an adventure. In the abandoned laboratory, southeast of Gaia. Can't believe I let you fools drag me out here. The hell are we doing? Shut up, you old fool. Nobody forced you to come. Place is great. Really not in that bad a shape. Bones are still sturdy. I think it just needs a good cleaning. Don't step on any rusty met metals. I don't want to have to treat any of you for tetanus. Well, we know what needs to be done. Let's get to work. This is going on. Just talking to myself real quick. I'll cut this up into a few episodes. In the cliffside village of Lemuria, which we sadly never did anything with, because we never could figure I never figured out how to talk with them. That's sad. Good day. You heard the latest news? No, what happened? Seems the war between humans has reached a conclusion. Kingdoms of Doria and Midgard banded together, drove back the kingdom of Pandora. Humans are so strange. What possesses them to be so violent towards their fellow kind? Yes, no matter how long we study their kind, we'll never understand them. Well, have a good day. Same to you. 
Yeah, sadly didn't get to didn't get to that. Wonder how you end up being able to talk to them. Hmm, if there is a way. It seems that humans have discovered the well of souls. You think they're wise enough to handle it? I'm not sure. Some of their kind show incredible wisdom and compassion, while others seem to be filled with pure evil. Only time will tell. I suppose you're correct. We'll remain safe in our area and continue to record the history of Terra. Is it time for us to follow the path of the veneer? I've spoken with the Queen and she believes that although our time on Terra is not long, we still have a purpose here. I yearn to know what lies beyond the veil. To walk into the mystery that is the well of souls and the footsteps of the veneer would be the greatest of adventures. No one knows what lies on the other side. The time will come soon. The giant Moa races. I never thought I'd see the day when the Grey Moa was beaten. <laughs> Central's the greatest Moa rider I've seen in my life. Have to agree. Tight race, but Central approved upon what seemed like the perfection that was the Grey Moa's racing technique. Think there'll be a rematch? Heard odd rumors that Central was involved in the war against Pandora. Must be some type of mix-up, though. Maybe it's just someone with the same name. Anyway, haven't seen him for quite a while now. In Bahamut's lair. Ah, Tiamat. Glorious to have you home. These past centuries have been so very lonely. Thank you, Bahamut. We must thank Central and his companions for freeing me from the landslide in the mines of Dervigar. Yes, I searched so far and wide. I never would have found you so deep under Terra's surface, especially in such a dangerous area. I feel that my soul has been revived. Can never repay Sindro for freeing you. We must go visit the dwarf soon, but we'll be careful not to get caught in any landslides. <laughs> On the second floor of Cecil's Arena. <sighs> my father, Marcus, knew the great Ajax well, and I hope he will not hold it against me when I say that I believe Sindral is the greatest gladiator to ever live. Indeed, I'm still in shock from the Tier 5A match. The sneeze of one of those monsters would knock out your average gladiator. <laughs> and each mem m monster requires an entire troop of arena guards to capture. <laughs> we'll remember that battle for the rest of our days. Sindral has completely depleted our stock of monsters. I'll have to call on Sid as soon as possible so that we can plan our next hunting mission. <laughs> In Lucky's Casino. Hate losing money. I love a true gambler. Haven't seen Syndra in quite a while. There's a man after my own heart. Why can't more people just risk it all? They'll slowly drain their savings. They'll never know the adrenaline rush of risking it all. In a small cave on a deserted island? Ah, the clang of metal on metal. Isn't a sweeter sound in all of Terra. Thor's hammer is far superior to my old hammer. Each piece of adamantium equipment will be a true masterpiece. Wish I could repay Sindral in some way. You did, Master Blacksmith. Your gear was very, very helpful. I would say, needed. Think I hear another customer coming. Things have sure picked up since I was given Thor's hammer and my work was shown to generals around the world. Oh yeah, they all want that for sure. Broke, sir. I'm here to pick up a set of adamantium breastplates. Very good. One moment, please. Here they are. Thank you. Your payment has been left at the cave entrance. I'll take my leave. Damn, it feels good to work up a hard sweat from the pounding of metal and the crafting of exquisite equipment. 
In a small tower near the massive hedge maze. Yeah, I never went back to the hedge maze. Probably could take it on pretty well now. The isolation of this task has begun to wear on me. So few adventurers come to explore the hedge maze. I hope that someday a powerful champion will explore the depths of the hedge mage and free me from the bonds that bind me. Submersible was truly a turning point in my inventing career. Though I didn't invent the device, creating the machine from the schematics has filled my mind with wonderful, exotic ideas. Central found the Submersible schematics as a needle in a haystack. I'll never be able to repay him for changing my life. I feel like a new man. I can't believe my good fortune. Even the King of Doria has seen my new inventions and has commissioned the creation of a faster than Moa landcraft. To think, only a year or two ago my inventions were only good for burning my eyebrows off, and now even kings want them. What an amazing transformation! <laughs> Listen to me talk to myself. Better get back to work on this new land roving machine. <laughs> what an exciting project! the master fisherman's camp. Another day fishing peacefully on this lovely island. None of the terrible realities of the world can reach me here when I'm fishing. Does no one else care about fishing technique anymore? The flexibility of the rod, the perfect ingredients for the bait, and the finesse of the catch. Yeah, sorry, never got enough. Wish I had a son of my own to whom I could teach my trade. Alas, I'll simply have to wait for some wayward traveler to come along. In the Puzzle Master Camp, it has been a pleasure to hear of so many of the veneer puzzles left all over Terra. I'm content with the number of stories that Syndral brought me.